Welcome to Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. We've taken an abandoned concrete factory at the margins of the declining American empire and repurposed it into a battleground where 19 separate entities from across the political spectrum enter the discourse one by one and do battle to determine who controls the narrative force of the discourse. I hope you'll join me. Your Southern Gothic Futurist host, Dirt God Raven Mac, for each and every episode of Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. This is our final week of our Fall 2022 seven week series. Uh, just to give you a recap of how this works, every week 27 competitors came out to it at the opening bell. New one comes out every minute. You're eliminated, getting tossed over the top rope or pinned or submitted. Uh, folks accumulated points one point for each elimination that they were um responsible for and then bonus points for the final four this went over six weeks so we've had six weeks of competitions we had the week after election week four election we had all senate one we had monsters of the discourse uh six total our top 27 competitors according to accumulating points come out this week in reverse order and you can see in these standings There's John Fetterman at the top with 18 points, Critical Thinking Punk right behind him. They will be the last two to come out, so Fetterman will be last, Critical Thinking Punk will be 26th. Um, Everybody else here, Verify Blue Check, Reply Guy, Josh Hawley with 15, Biden and Trump, Mom Blogger, Ted Cruz all had 13. These folks will come out in reverse order, Um, and you can see all down through 8, and then in our second page of results here um seven pointers six pointers five pointers four pointers i can't tell you uh out of these five four pointers one will not come out um i got to actually select who who came out they did give me that so kanye west i dumped i did not want to see him tonight um and then these three pointers those are folks who got three points but just missed the cut they're not here tonight um they won't be part of tonight's finale um so let's go ahead and go to the ring let's let's see what we have entailed for tonight and you can see that the police state and the lady cop are our two police officers our police officers these are our referees for tonight and Herschel Walker is coming out first so that Georgia runoff election will be happening um, here in the next month before the new year Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock will have a yet another yet another election and Joe Manchin coming out. So we have a potential senator in Herschel Walker and an actual senator in Joe Manchin. They will be facing each other. They'll be going up against each other to start this thing out tonight. And you see there's ladders in the ring and outside the ring. Seven ladders which represent the meritocracy. Uh, climbing your way to success. And 23 briefcases full of lobbyist money. Um, all scattered around the ring as well. So Manchin gets the upper hand here to start. Herschel Walker brought that football trophy out. Manchin now has it and is beating Herschel with it. So we will have 27 folks coming out here tonight. And it will be pretty constant. New one every minute. Whoever ends up being last will be our champion of the discourse for fall 2022. And we get a buzzer. And here comes Super Blue Check. So so we've seen multiple blue checks. In fact, we have three in the field tonight. Verified Blue Check, Verified Blue Check 2, and Super Blue Check. All of whom have been very vocal on Twitter um, with this new Twitter blue and lack of authentication. And holding dear their, their authentic authentication. So that's changed under Elon. And Blue Checks are becoming obsolete. I don't know if we'll see these guys in our next series of the discourse mansion trying to get a pin there on super blue check those ladders add a lot here that meritocracy myth ladders those are hard steel ladders people are thrown into herschel looks like he's trying to set one back up 
And we get a buzzer, and it's Ron DeSantis, Florida governor, who has been making a little bit of noise um, as an alternative to Donald Trump here in this election. Now, DeSantis just got reelected as Florida governor, so that election cycle for president is going to be happening while he's governor of Florida. Some folks seem to prefer him. Uh, some folks are just tired of Trump. I wouldn't call either of them a shining, wonderful candidate, unless you are a drinker of the red Kool-Aid. So we've got Walker, Mansion, Super Blue Check, and Ron DeSantis, and Mansion going for a pin on Super Blue Check, and she is eliminated. So we can say goodbye to Super Blue Check. That is one down, and 25 of 26 to go. And here comes Omega Chad. So Omega Chad, the meme come to life. He got a number of eliminations last week so fought his way into the field this week Herschel Walker and Joe Manchin in there fighting right now Omega Chad goes after Ron DeSantis to begin with and Manchin going for a cover on DeSantis but the police state dropped on top of them count broken up Manchin and Omega Chad trading punches there in the middle of the ring. DeSantis dropped. And we get a buzzer and Elizabeth Warren. So Elizabeth Warren makes the field. Um, only really competed in one of our series this time, I believe, was that Senate, that all Senate rumble that we had a few weeks back. So Elizabeth Warren is out here. And you got Joe Manchin, a senator, tying her up right away. DeSantis and Herschel Walker going at it. Omega Chad just kind of watching things right now. And Manchin is holding that football trophy. Nice leg sweep neck breaker there by Elizabeth Warren on Joe Manchin. And she gets the pin. Strong move by Elizabeth Warren. So in it, she wants to be reckoned with it here in the discourse tonight. And Omega Chad over the top rope. And he is trying to fight his way back in and Raphael Warnock comes out and him and Manchin lock up in the aisle there. Manchin rolls him up for a pin. I don't know what's going on right there. And there's a pin on DeSantis by Elizabeth Warren. So she is she is definitely asserting herself in here tonight. Already eliminated Manchin and Ron DeSantis. Raphael Warnock is now in there so him and Herschel Walker will certainly be tangling as they have that big election coming up. Omega Chad over the top rope, but not does not hit the floor. You got to go over that top rope and hit the floor. Now we have Warren and Warnock over on one side. And we get another buzzer, and it's Chuck Schumer. Democratic Senate leader, Chuck Schumer coming out. I'm sure he's glad to maintain that, that thin majority, even regardless of the Warnock-Herschel Walker election results there. That 50-50 tie will be in place even if Herschel Walker wins. And it's kind of shocking to think of Herschel Walker maybe going to the Senate because that is not, not a very bright man. There was the clip him talking about the vampire movie recently, and he's, he's, he's not a very bright man. So we've got a number of senators in there. Number of current senators, one hopeful senator, and here comes Nancy Pelosi. So, the Democratic leader of the House recently announced this past week that she would not be seeking re election as the House minority leader because the Republicans took control of the House at least. And she said she is not going to be minority leader, uh, giving up 20 years in that leadership role. Will serve out her term when she was just elected to. So we may not see Nancy Pelosi in Congress. She's certainly somebody who has financially benefited from her time in Congress. Become very wealthy. Was wealthy before. I mean, you don't get to be elected to Congress without being wealthy. But she is even more deeply enriched. And here comes the Proud Boy. So the Proud Boy is our 10th tenth, 10th person coming out tonight. Usually when I take my notes, I break these into three sets of nine just to keep track of the first third, the second third, and the last third. And there's a pin in the ring, and Raphael Warnock pinned Elizabeth Warren. So the Proud Boy is the tenth person. He starts that second third coming out and 
to reset the field. The Proud Boys coming out. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Raphael Warnock, Omega Chad is still in there, and Herschel Walker. And you can mark Nancy Pelosi off that list as she was just been. And we get a buzzer. And coming out now is Tucker Carlson, that Fox News. Raphael Warnock got pinned in there. Looked like Chuck Schumer actually pinned him. Tucker Carlson, Fox News personality. Not a very decent person. Omega Chad pins Herschel Walker, so Herschel Walker is eliminated as well. Tucker Carlson, Fox News. There was that shooting over the weekend in Colorado at a... Um, at a gay bar, has drag shows, and Tucker Carlson's been a key figure in politicizing that, claiming that LGBTQ events, specifically drag shows, are grooming events. Um, it's just really dark times right now. We've moved backwards in the last five to six years. Joe Rogan has helped that regression immensely just by asking questions. Very dangerous questions sometimes. Those guys love to say they're thought police. Now Tucker Carlson is punching Omega Chad. And Tucker Carlson eliminates Omega Chad. So he is out. You claim they're just asking questions. Um, but a lot of times these are very misleading questions. And they're weaponized in a certain way. And here comes a verified blue check. Another one of those authentic blue checks. Tucker Carlson gets a two count on the Proud Boy. So we've got Chuck Schumer in there. Joe Rogan going for a cover on Chuck Schumer. That might be it for Schumer, and that is. Joe Rogan eliminates Chuck Schumer from our event. So we've got the Proud Boy, Joe Rogan, Tucker Carlson, and Verified Blue Check 2 in the ring. And it looks like Tucker Carlson has been busted open in there. He is bleeding. And the Proud Boy going for a pin on Joe Rogan. And he gets it. Joe Rogan is out. The billionaire podcaster. Here comes Bernie. Bernie Sanders. Another one like Elizabeth Warren. I think he only competed in that Senate Rumble at a discourse we had that one week. But he cracked the leaders. Um, and he's out here. Bernie, of course, no shortage of excuses for him to talk about record corporate profits during inflation which how can they have record profits during inflation um, but they do Bernie's one of the few who speaks out against it you know really the one thing that held Bernie back is not speaking out on the racial issues it seemed like that held him back well not to mention the Democratic Party establishment purposefully holding him back as well and he's not a Democrat he's an independent here comes Do Your Own Researcher. Tucker Carlson got pinned over there by Bernie Sanders. So Bernie took out Tucker. Do Your Own Researcher coming in. One of the people that quickly paid for that Twitter blue to get that Twitter blue blue check. Claiming he was shadow banned all along. And a big slam on the Proud Boy there. But the police state and the lady cop both tumble off of one of those ladders. Long wait for a count here for the Proud Boy. And a slow count, we only get a one. That was very kind of sketchy, to be honest. The police seem to be helping the Proud Boy out, which we've seen that before as well. And we get a buzzer, and here comes the dipshit billionaire himself, Elon Musk. And we got dual pinfalls, and Bernie Sanders got pinned by the Do Your Own Researchers, and he is out. Elon Musk is, you know, Elon Musk does a lot of corny puns and jokes, and this guy's in his 50s, y'all. Like, he acts like he's, like, a young dork, and he's he's in his 50s. Like, this, this is a man who's old enough who probably should know better, but also does know exactly what he's doing and is following that tech, tech libertarian to hard right pipeline. Allowed a lot of Canada. He had a poll to see if Donald Trump. Here comes Steve Bannon. Had a poll to see if Donald Trump should come back and just assumed that there weren't bots voting on it and reinstated Donald Trump's account, but also quietly has reinstated a lot of 
other questionable <laughs> accounts, Project Veritas. Um, you know, the libs of TikTok has been pretty much directly involved in a lot of these, a lot of the violence against trans people has been going on, which is shooting over the weekend would certainly seem to be part of it and is unapologetic about it, actually. You know, usually these assholes try to act like, well, it's not me, it's just mental illness, but they're pretty, like, pretty open about the fact that, yeah, they are inciting that violence. I guess that's the era we're in. Verified blue check. Get Steve Bannon pinned over there, crashes into the ladder, and verified blue check eliminates Steve Bannon. And here comes Dr. Oz. So Dr. Oz, failed Pennsylvania candidate, and he suplexes Steve Bannon outside the ring there. Dr. Oz did not win that election, getting one last shot at the discourse here tonight, and then hopefully we will not see him ever again. So the folks we still have in here... Dr. Oz, Elon Musk, the do your own research and verified blue check number two in the Proud Boy. And there's a pin. Ah, do your own researcher kicked out at two and a half on that verified blue check number two. So that finishes our middle third, and we now get into the final third. We get a buzzer, and it's the mom blogger. Mom blogger's coming out, and there was a pin in the ring, and Elon Musk is gone already. So he can go back to tinkering with his little toy app that he is rapidly destroying, taking all the fun out of and creating a hostile environment once again. Do your own research or just drops verified blue check right on that ladder and gets a pin as well. Proud Boy kicks out. So we've got the mom blogger, Dr. Oz, the Proud Boy, and the do your own researcher still out here. So we've got four folks. And there's a pin on the Proud Boy. And another immensely slow count by the police state. And here comes Ted Cruz. Nice spineless senator to come out. He's holding that mic and wants to talk but nobody's listening. The mom blogger. One count on Dr. Oz. Proud Boy and Do Your Own Research are fighting on that ladder. Do your own researchers had a couple pin attempts on the Proud Boy that the police state has counted very slow. I believe we have seven more people. Is that right, Bob? Bob Dabalina, my producer. Yeah, seven more people left. And there's a pin. The mom blogger is pinned, and at the same time, here he comes. Donald Trump. He announced that run for presidency again next in 2024. He is was advised to not do it but he decided to go ahead and do it you can't tell this man anything and a lot of people blamed him for the lack of the red wave in the midterms um so many of his candidates failed including dr oz who is in the ring right now bloodied and getting suplexed by the proud boy but donald trump he is a man motivated by his own ego more than anything else so he has announced his candidacy and is already talking trash about potential opposition in the republican party and we get a buzzer and here comes our current president president joe biden bubba he's coming out he set the ice cream cone down backstage took his shoes off and here he comes president biden and ted cruz is going to the top of that ladder and just gets caught by the proud boy and dropped still only a one count so we've got biden and trump Dr. Oz is still out there, Senator Ted Cruz, the do-your-own researcher, and the Proud Boy. And right now, Donald Trump has got that Proud Boy and just wrenching him on a headlock. A scream there. Dr. Oz, pinned by the Proud Boy, screamed as he was dropped on that ladder. And so Dr. Oz is out, and that's probably all we will see of him. And here comes Josh Hawley. Only discourse he competed in was that senator one as well. Senator from Missouri fashions himself as an alpha male type. As you can see by his jorts, camouflage tank top. Donald Trump, only a two count, but he had a quick pin on the do your own researcher. Proud Boy still hanging tough out there. Ted Cruz, Donald Trump, President Biden, and Josh Hawley. Belly to belly suplex on Cruz. Do your own research with a two count on Biden. 
kick out by Cruz as well. We got a lot going on, folks. And here comes the reply guy. The reply guy is always active in the discourse, if doing nothing more than piping in after somebody else said something. And there's a pin in the ring, and Ted Cruz pins the Do Your Own Researcher, so the Do Your Own Researcher is out. Trump with a nice move there on Biden, and then middle fingers for the crowd. Josh Hawley has been busted open in there, so Josh Hawley is looking bloodied. So we've got two senators, Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley, two presidents, one current, one former, and Biden and Trump. Reply guy, the proud boy, and we get a buzzer, and here comes the verified blue check. Man, he has been a ringleader in complaining about Elon Musk, New York Times op-ed writer, desperate to maintain that. And there's a pin on Ted Cruz by the reply guy, so Ted Cruz is taken out. Little side slam there by the reply guy, feeling himself, and now he's beating on Josh Hawley. Verified blue check going after the proud boy there. So we've got two more folks left to come out, and we've got six in the ring. So one of these six in the ring, or these last two men, is going to win the discourse. For fall 2022, and here comes Critical Thinking Punk. That Critical Thinking Punk, he's carrying that chair. Sort of a libertarian, I guess, but a, a think for himself type. And there is a pin on Proud Boy. President Biden has eliminated the Proud Boy. Finally, something good by President Biden. Proud Boy is out. So that Critical Thinking Punk, he doesn't support either party necessarily, but he. Tends to be an asshole about it all the way around. And he's just beating on people with that baseball bat. Don Trump rolls him up, though. And we get our buzzer, and this is our last entrance tonight. John Fetterman, Senator-elect from Pennsylvania. So John Fetterman comes out. We've got seven people left, folks. Donald Trump, President Joe Biden. Senator Josh Hawley, Senator-elect John Fetterman, the reply guy, the verified blue check, and the critical thinking punk. One of these seven folks is going to be our champion of the discourse for our fall 2022 series. And reply guy with a two count on Donald Trump. Fetterman's a big boy. It's big boy season now. Hawley bloody. Joe Biden's in there bleeding now. Verified blue check going after Donald Trump. Hawley, Hawley's tried to climb that ladder and then President Biden booted him. So he's out. So we are down to six. Verified blue check thought about going up that ladder and came down. Almost could have suffered the same fate Josh Hawley did. Trump is beating on Biden. Reply guy going for the pin after Trump kick out at one. Trump and Fetterman going at it. Verified blue check comes off the top rope and nails Biden. Reply guy slammed by the critical thinking pump. Roll up on Fetterman by Biden. Only a two count. So once again, this is our finale of our fall 2022 series one of these folks will be the champion of the discourse for fall 2022 and the verified blue check giving some middle fingers there to critical thinking punk they're having they had a little one-on-one -on -one debate there for a second fetterman was spinning heel kick right upside by and took out trump too police stage has been falling down left and right in there Bodies everywhere, ladders in the way, briefcases full of lobbyist money. Reply guy with a one count on the critical thinking punk. So this is the discourse, a bunch of white guys duking it out. For the most part, a lot of reactionary types, not a lot of philosophical foundations for these folks. And Donald Trump is busted open in there. Verify blue check with a pin on reply guy. 
There we go. Reply Guy is eliminated. Reply Guy is a perfect example of reactionary politics, people not with a solid philosophical foundation and just reacting to others. And Fetterman rolled up. He kicks out. Now he goes for a cover on the verified blue check. Only a one count. Biden on that top rope. He comes down. It's a dangerous place to be. Critical thinking punk just backbreaker on Biden and going for the pin. And that's it. President Biden is out, so he will not be the champion of the discourse for fall 2022. Donald Trump just dropped that critical thinking punk. So Donald Trump is still out here. He outlasted Biden. Verified blue check critical thinking punk and John Fetterman who had to kick out of a pin attempt. And Trump and the critical thinking punk were on that ladder together. Trump kicked him down. Mule kicked by the verified blue check to Fetterman. So four men left now. Four folks. One of these one of these men will be the champion of the discourse. Trump and Fetterman locked up. And you have to imagine that's something we're going to see over the next two years. If Fetterman winning that election. Critical thinking punk over the top rope. Donald Trump gave it up to Fetterman. So Fetterman made Donald Trump submit. Trump rolls out of the ring into a heat. Now Fetterman kicking the critical thinking punk. You know, and Fetterman, he won that election, but it wasn't as dominant as you would have expected. I mean, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is win, necessarily. But heard people using him as an example of what the Dems can do in the future. But it's not like anybody winning these elections. DeSantis in Florida either. Nobody's really winning by any giant wide margin. I think we have a lot of people just disenfranchised. There's a bin on Fetterman. And the critical thinking punk eliminates Fetterman. So Fetterman is not going to... I, I had, I'll be honest. I thought Fetterman was a top candidate to win this champion of the discourse fall 2022. But he got eliminated there. So now it's the verified blue check and the critical thinking punk. Verified blue check course, Harvard educated. Op-ed writer for New York Times, the Atlantic Monthly, Harper's. Many other publications that you know. And the critical thinking punk is just some guy. Hates politics. Considered himself an outright punk back in the day, but as he's gotten older, he's become more nihilistic. He kicks that verified blue check. And I mean, there's a certain reactionary nature that I want to bring up. Both of these guys, a critical thinking punk is a contrarian, so his reactionary nature is to go against the grain. And there's a whole media ecosystem that has been built of those sort of alternative right-wing voices that are contrary in nature. And it's, at the same time, it's become so large an environment, you can't really consider it an alternative anymore. It's, you know, it's not an alternative to the mainstream when it's just as popular, perhaps more popular than the actual mainstream. And that verified blue check, he is, of course, a voice of the mainstream. Neoliberal bourgeoisie type. Tends to punch left whenever he can. Seemingly more afraid of progressives than he is of actual right-wing death squads that have been organized. So these two are going at it. One of them is going to be in there. There's a nice spine breaker there by the Critical Thinking Punk. One of these two is going to be our champion of the discourse for fall 2022. This is supported by my Patreon. We will be taking a hiatus. I don't know if I will come back in the winter. Hi there. What's that, Bob? Okay, so Bob Dabalin is telling me they're trying to convince me to come back to start a winter series the, the day after Christmas. Um, you're going to have to talk me into that. Give me some of those dog coin you got last week, Bob. We'll have to see if I come back. But my Patreon, Southern Gothic Futurism, you can support that. To, that will, If I'm making money with that, I'm more likely to overlook the fact that life sucks and do these idiotic videos where I force myself to keep up with the discourse, which is quite an infringement on my personal happiness, to be honest with you. Lady Cop falls off that ladder, and there's a pit and kick out at one and a half, maybe even two. Verified blue check, critical thinking punk. Nice spear on the critical thinking punk, but he can't get a pin. Verified blue check can't get a pin. 
they continue to go at it. And I'm not really sure who I'm pulling for here. I think I... I don't know. I think if I was to vote for one of these guys, I'd probably vote for the verified blue check. But if I was to hang out with one of these guys, I'd probably hang out with the critical thinking punk. Verified blue check is not going to have anything to do with somebody like me anyways. And they're over in that corner. Now we got it locked up in a headlock. Verified blue check throwing some punches. Critical thinking punk trying to fight back. He's got that 2x4, but the lady cop takes it. Doesn't let him use it. That's a big suplex. That could be it, folks. One, and there's two, and a kick out. So that's not it. I thought that was going to be it. These guys have been going at it for a while. You can see they're both worse for wear, and there's another pin. This is probably it. One, and ah, just a one count. Critical thing, he gets kicked out. Verify Blue Check kicks him down, and they're throwing punches into that ladder. Verify Blue Check sets one of those ladders back up. And that's a devastating maneuver as well. And he's going for the pin. That's got to be it. One, two, and another kick out. So, being the champion of the discourse has. Pitiful a title as that is, both of these men are obviously very keyed up to be the champion of the discourse. Everybody wants to win that useless debate, and that's what we're seeing right here is two men trying to win this completely useless seven-week debate. And I verify Blue Check fighting out of that slam attempt. And they're sort of spinning all over and Big kick there. Trading punches. Trading kicks. Critical thing the punk waves him in and spears him on that ladder. Police stayed occupied with moving that ladder around for some reason. Not a critical thinking punk. Looks like he's going to set that other ladder back up and he does. So we've got two ladders in the ring. Couple briefcases full of money, microphone. Police stating, oh, and there's a kick into that ladder. He goes for the cover. That's got to be uh, just a one count, though. Neither one of these guys wants to lose it. Lady cop climbing the ladder and falling off for some unexplainable reason. Critical thinking punk stomping on those knees. Kicking the verified blue check. They lock up again. Over here in front, we've got a packed auditorium of NPCs tonight, as you can see. And they're all caught up waiting to see who's going to win this thing. And they're fighting over control to so see who can get each other slammed. These guys are pretty evenly matched, even after all this time. Briefcase full of money to the gut, the critical thinking punk. Verified blue check falls down when he's thrown and then turns around and backhands critical thinking punk. And he's going for the pin. That's a one count only. We're at the 40 minute mark, folks. This is one of the longest rumbles we've had this entire series, as far as I can remember. They are really going at it. Right into that ladder, which holds up. Middle fingers to the critical thinking punk, and he goes for the pin. And that's it. That's the three count. The verified blue check has won this thing. And I'm not sure the critical thing and punk got stuck on that ladder afterwards but the verified blue check wins this thing let's look back at this you can see that goes into the ladder and falls and the verified blue check doesn't go for the immediate pin comes in with the middle fingers taunting him and then covers him for the one two three so the verified blue check is our fall 2022 champion of the discourse please remember that even though they may lose the authentication of that blue check. They are still the voice of the state. And eh, 
champions of the discourse. They're going to be the ones that have the loudest, loudest platform. Even if you have some asset like Elon Musk taking it over. Um, speaking of platforms, this is supported by my Southern Gothic Futurist Patreon. You can support my platform. Allow me to do these things that I try to do. Um, I appreciate all the support. Thankful to all my supporters out there i have a large number of supporters i'm very thankful for each and every one of you uh we made it to the end of this fall 2022 series bob doblin is telling me in my ear we will be back on december 26 i am not exactly sure i am down for that um but i will let them try to talk me into it and if you subscribe to that patreon that will probably help convince me that i should um but I'm going to be doing things on that Patreon one way or another. And I appreciate your support. Appreciate you making it through the end of the seven-week series. Um, you can follow me on various social medias you probably already have, which is how you know about this. And until next time, whether that be in December or in the spring or whenever we come back for this, salam. So